everyone, Justine with Glue J Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. And we have the Redlands Hall. Yes. Um, so went to Redlands, went Sunday. Um, just because that's how the schedule worked out. And originally was going to meet up with um, most of the other YouTubers. But it was so hot at Redlands that uh, a lot of us missed each other. Didn't stay as long as we thought. And, um, I'm trying to think, and just, uh, I miss some vendors too. I went with my husband and he doesn't have the same orchid motivation that I do. Sorry for moving all over the place. Oopsie. So I still get to see a lot of plants, still had, um, got to have a lot of fun. Met up with Roxy from Orchid365, if you don't know her. Also, on Saturday, we got to go to RF. So I have a video of RF that I'll be putting together. We got to go on the tour with Michael from RF. So it was a lot of awesome information. And I was good. I bought no orchids at RF. I did get some other really cool things, though. So that will be a separate video. For right now, we're going to look at um, the hall. So we'll go outside I think and look at the hall and yeah actually looks pretty cool from in here oh also I got this at Aldi's well one of my friends got this at Aldi's for me I'm gonna pay her back but she saw it and picked it up so it's pretty cool see it's not gonna live here I have to decide where I'm gonna put it but I just built it and have really loved this but ADHD sorry Let's get into the hall, and I will see you at the end. Alright, so this pretty little Neo Cross I got from Moats. It was one of the first purchases. And just fell in love with the color. It kind of reminded me of a sunset. It didn't have an ID, but um, Dr. Moat was there, so he said it's Vanda Charm, is what it is. Smells just like a Neo, that nice sweet fragrance, and just the color is just so pretty. And it's a good bloomer, see? It's already bloomed here and here, and then here is... So, fell in love with the color. And then it fits perfect in this pot that I got from Roxy when she was at Palmer's. So very happy with this combo. Just such a cute, cute flower. I'm a fan. This really caught my eye. This was also from Moat's Orchids. And just look at that flower. Sorry for bouncing around, but kind of... Oh, let's try this. There we go. That's better. But just the pattern, the lip fragrant as well. Yeah, it doesn't really show you very well there. Let's see if we can find some light and hang it. There we go. But yes, just beautiful pattern. I like the shape. There's not a whole lot I don't like, and I even like the price. Normally I don't show you the price, but look at the price. Fifteen. And then it's Vanda Kala, Kala, I don't know, someone's name, and then Beauty. And it's Tessalata crossed with Lamalata. And just, I mean, look at it. So pretty. So yes, you knew this was coming home. I said no Vandas, but we all know I'm lying to myself, because look at all the Vandas. Have a problem.
But yeah, so that was second purchase from Moats. And one of the other things I got is I got these, um, I can never say them correctly, but the Anzalea Africana. So I got four different ones. I got them on Sunday, so there was a pretty good deal. I got them from Afri Orchids. So this is one that's interesting. It blooms at a different time than the other ones. It was actually had some flowers when I got it. So I got that one. Got this one, which is like a um I'll put the tag on there somewhere. This is a smaller version. This one should be like yellowish. I'll put some pictures in. Oh, here's the tag. Eh, I'll get a different tag. The other one is back in here. So I potted them in four different ways. Kind of a little experiment. It'll be interesting to see which one ends up doing the best. So those were those three. And then over here is the fourth one. So this one was the second biggest one. And it's... Let's see if I can zoom in on the tag. Let's see. Okay, so trying. There you go. See Anzalea Africana. This is Buffalo and Leo. So just put it in a terracotta pot with mostly lava rock, which is here, and then put a top layer of just dendrobium mix. And we'll see. Little experiment. And then they can get acclimated to full sun. Right now I'm trying to be nice to them. So not putting them into full sun quite yet. Oh. Another Hastings Max Walker. Also got this um, Tulumnia species from Red Room. Or actually Hamlin, but Brethren and Hamlin. For anyone who doesn't know Brethren, Phil Hamilton is um, the son of Claude Hamilton, who is the Jamaican orchid grower. So I got that um, Tulumnia species and this Tulumnia species. So, well, that was good for it. Sorry. I think I have a picture of that one. This one is a pink one. And then this is blooming. Nothing to do with what we're currently doing, but blooming nicely. All right, it's so back to the main purpose. Part of the haul was these pots too from the orchid den, so got this blue one here. I had the plant already. The flower for the plant should be a nice pink color though, so that would be a good contrast. And then got this green pot as well. And let's see. There we go. So got the green pot as well, and then have this pretty yellow flower with the green pot. And then already had this one, but this one's going to move up there. So then we'll go um, Neopots. I need to get... So, hold on. Back up here. Okay. So see, this is going to be like a Neopot hanging area. So, I already have four Neopots. I need to get one more Neopot. But I'm liking it. Turned out pretty cool. Alright, also got this from the Orchid Den. Has two spikes. Well, let's do it this way. Has two spikes. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Hold on. There we go. Has two spikes. I'll ha I have a picture of it in bloom, so I'll show you. 
Incendum, Incendium, I don't know, Popcorn Highland. So that was from the Orchid Den. There's the logo. There's the information. Put that back in here. So that plant, the pot, and the mount are from the Orchid Den. Or the pots, not the... Where'd the other thing go? I have one other thing. No. Here we go. Duck. <sighs> got this from the orchid den as well except for um he had it from another vendor and he let me buy it off of him i forget who it's from but he will probably have some of these eventually as well uh -oh. here you go violacia flemma sib so just a bare root. So that's everything I got from the orchid den. And then after I went to moats, I went to, um, I can never say their name. I really need to learn how to say their name. Ching Ha orchids, Ching Hung orchids or whatever. Um, so they didn't come in these pots. These are my pots. I've repotted them already, but came in the plastic pots. So I got another Foul Shuriana. Got this really cool Foul. Novelty Foul. Foul Hastings Treta Wine. Tetraspis Red crossed with KS Blue Sam Samaria. Samaria, I don't know. I'll put a picture of that one. And then got this, another um, foul, hold on, foul Tetraspis cerulea. So I have the Tetraspis cerulea from Wilson's Orchid, which is right here, I think. I got that one at Crawl, and then this one. So this one already has a spike, so this one's a little bigger. I'm impatient, so this one should bloom for me this season. So three more novelty fowls, that cool plant, the violacea, the Anzalea africana, got four of those. I feel like I'm forgetting some. Oh, two vandas. So yeah, not crazy. Definitely didn't go crazy. All right, it's hot. So hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Hope you, um, if you guys went to Redland, let me know what you guys got. I went on Sunday, so um, a lot of the vendors were fairly picked over, but you also get the deals, so I did get some good deals. And I mean, I mean, I still found some good stuff. Not as much blooming plants, but still a good amount of plants, and didn't spend didn't spend a crazy amount, so. Pretty happy with what I got. Good experience. Learned stuff. Don't have a lot of footage from Redlands just because it was so hot and I wanted to hang out with my husband and my friends. So I actually have no footage at Redlands. Yeah, no footage. No footage, no photos. But I did have a good time and I do have a haul. And I do have... Oh, I'm dripping. So... If you want, leave a comment if you're interested in me filming, putting that plant there on this, if you would enjoy that. And yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, we had a good little getaway from our kids. I love my kids, but... Anyone who has two toddlers knows what I'm talking about when you really enjoy getting that break and you need that break. And been repotting and figuring out where all the new babies live. And yeah, 
just recovering. But yeah, we'll probably go again next year. Don't know what day. I might try early day. Early day is kind of fun. I think early day is worth it for Redlands. And then I'll just go Sunday again for Team Miami. But we'll see. Just depends on scheduling and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.